Hey, yo, what is up, you to the tube? This is Damien J. This is the morning drive. Today, I want to give my first impressions of the Adidas Crazy Train Elite. Um, this is just a first impression video. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that usually my first impression of a shoe stands uh, the test of time. And uh, I gotta say, to best describe this shoe would be, it is the most comfortable, uncomfortable shoe you will ever wear. And that's how I'm gonna start off this first impression video. Um, when you slip them on, they actually feel amazing when you first slip them on. They are very comfortable, they are very breathable, and then you start to walk around in them and they feel just okay. Uh, they don't feel too cushy. They don't feel too, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Flat, I guess. They don't feel too boxy. There's plenty of room in the toe box, so that's fine. I feel like it's an all around great lifting shoe. We did snatches today, and man, I was sticking them. Like, it is a great shoe for complex lifts, because I was doing snatches. Uh, we were doing, actually, uh, snatch complexes, where it was uh, one full one off the ground, and then two from hang uh, in the full squat <coughs> snatches. Um, and just a great shoe, very stable. I didn't find myself too far into my toes. Um, I, I was landing in the heel every time. I was kind of flying forward a little bit, but I think it's just because I haven't been, uh, I haven't been going to barbell, so I haven't been doing snatches as religiously as I should be. So I think that might have been part of it, but all in all, it is a great lifter. On the run, it isn't terrible. Um, I put it right up there with the Nano Weave because the Nano Weave, uh, as a lot of you know, has just taken over the three spot in my favorite shoes. And I would say that this is probably going to end up in four, and it's just going to keep pushing the other shoes down. Um, I'm actually really surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, now, don't let the Boost name fool you. Um, apparently, uh, somebody in the gym was telling me, are they really bouncy? Because I have Boosts, and they're really, really bouncy shoes. And I was like, actually, no, they're not. Uh, this bottom part is a very hard plastic, and then inside feels very, uh, very tight and put together. So the only thing uh, that's really soft is just touching it from the side. Um, I don't feel a lot of cushion when I drop, but it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel bad. It honestly, it feels like a lifter. It feels like a lifter on my foot without the, you know, the huge um, uh, incline of the heel. I, I don't have that. It just feels nice and flat, nice and stable. But like I said, there's, there's something about it that just feels a little rough and it's not the flex in the toe because the flex in the toe is fine there's something in here almost almost by the ball that front ball of your foot that kind of feels just a bit boxy but it's not terrible on the run we did runs today um, I felt during I felt great during the runs but where it really stood out was like I said when I was doing lifts when I was doing, you know, the snatches, and uh, the other place where it stood out was box jumps. Like, just a really nice, clean, flat landing. Um, just, it, it just felt good. Like, it just felt really, really good. And I don't know if that's just the new shoe feel, because you jump higher and you run faster when you're wearing new shoes. <laughs> but uh, all in all, it just felt really, really good. So, uh, like I said, it's just my first impression of the shoe. Um, I did another video on the company that sent me this shoe, which I will not be buying shoes from again. Uh, but I would suggest if you do want to pick up a pair of these, the only downside to these is, is they're $130. And compared to the other shoes that I've reviewed, if you're going to spend the $130, like if you've got $130 that's burning a hole in your pocket, I would take the Weebs. Um, if you want to save a little money, I'm, I'm telling you get the Minimus 40s. I know I say this in every video. It's getting to the point where it almost sounds like they are paying me money, but I promise you they are not. 
they just make a great all-around shoe. But um, if you're dying, if you're a Reebok fan, if you're a fan of the Boost, if you're a fan of Reeboks, you're a fan of the Boost, you are a uh, CrossFitter, hey, go for it, go for it. Um, I will be honest though, I haven't taken this through the paces on rope climbs, and I honestly don't know how it's gonna be. It doesn't have an inside grip for rope climbs, so I don't know if that's going to be an issue. Uh, usually not a big deal. I noticed that it does have this little toe cupping on it, so I imagine that this is for when you put your toe over your toe when you're doing the box jump, so that might help um, as far as not wrecking the outside of the shoe. But otherwise, I can't see anything that would be of benefit during rope climbs on it. Um, I don't know if this outside tread would do anything if you're one of those people that like to uh, that like to wrap the rope and have it around the outside. Maybe that's a good thing. But for me, I'm you know I'm pretty much dead center. I, I get it in the middle and I just bite my toes over it. So <clears throat> um, it just it just depends on uh, it just depends on you really on uh, what your foot you know. I, or excuse me, what you're looking for. But like I said, if you're if you're an Adidas fan, go out, get the shoe. You're going to be happy with it. it. Is a great shoe. Um, I feel happy with it, and this is just a first impression. Uh, but otherwise, you know, there are better shoes out there. Once I get this in a few more wads and a few more intensive things, you know, I, I my main two colors that I have in shirts are going to be red and they're going to be blue. So between those two colors, it, it seems like it's going to be pretty easy to figure out. Um, uh, that I'm going to be wearing these a bulk of the time now uh, and it's it's going to be nice too because I'll actually be able to give the the new balance a break because I wear them all the time and they're blue and I feel like an old man when I wear them because they have the big uh, the big N on them so um, we'll see but anyways that's all I got if you got any questions about it so far like I said this is just a first impression video although we you know if, if you're familiar with my videos Usually my first impression stands. Um, if anything glaring happens, you know, I'll definitely update it when I do the video. But uh, definitely go check these out. Uh, ask me any questions you feel like asking about them. Uh, as always, you can drop it in the comments below. You can follow me on the snaps, the tweets, and the grams. That's at Damian J, D-A-M-I-A-N-J-A-Y. Because I love you guys. Thanks for riding with me.